The PlayStation 2, a very impressive console, broke many records with its sales, released thousands of games worldwide, and you probably have your favorites. You know, some of my favorites that come to mind are Gran Turismo 3, Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy X, God of War, the list goes on and on. You know, it had a huge greatest hits library, and we're not talking about any of those games today. We're talking about the worst of the worst. We're talking about some of the worst bad games released on the PlayStation 2. I've done a series on my channel looking at different consoles and some of the worst games released on their library. And in today's video, I chose five that I had personally in my collection, and I'm gonna share them with you on why they're bad and why they made the list. You may wanna grab some popcorn, sit back, relax, this will be a fun one. Let's take a look. I grew up with G.I. Joe. I read the comic book, played with the action figures, and the newer movies just were kind of eh. Well, there was some games attached to it, and there was a PS2 port connected to the second movie. How bad is it? First thing you notice about this game is the terrible graphics. Now, I've played a lot of good games with terrible graphics. You know, and I thought, gosh, you know, G.I. Joe would make an awesome game. You know, there's been previous games on the NES that I actually enjoyed. And it comes down to it, this just isn't that fun. It's very generic. The gameplay isn't great. The camera's bad. You can switch back and forth in a single player game between two different characters. You can unlock other characters. You can get different abilities. But it's just not fun. It's even hard just to... To simply take out enemies, you know, uh, the lock-on system seems to not work all the time. Combat is generic. Uh, you know, the objectives, you know, take out enemies. Uh, you progress through kind of a very uh, generic level design. Go from point A to point B, done. Uh, occasionally you do fight a boss. And the bosses, you know, uh, kind of break up this very monotonous and boring game. But this isn't great, you know, it's definitely scaled way back from the PS3 versions of this game and, and 360. Uh, it looks like a PS1 game, it, it doesn't control great. Camera's just so-so, avoid this one at all costs. I put it out on YouTube Community, I was looking for some of the worst PS2 sports games. And some people brought up this game, and I've heard about this game, it's not a game I've played in a long time. And I remember that Rockstar published this, and I'm like, how bad can this be? I enjoyed playing some classic games that involve surfing. California Games comes to mind on the Commodore 64, as well as the Atari Lynx. And, you know, uh, booting up this game, you know, had had some characters to choose from. You can choose your board. And I thought, you know, this might be decent. You know, I, I, I haven't played a surfing game in a while. Ready? And then I started playing it. Oh boy, it is just kind of a mindless collect-a-thon. Uh, first off the get-go, it's really hard to kind of even get started. You, I definitely recommend starting the tutorial. You have to paddle and then get up on your board and then it becomes essentially collecting things. And then you're trying to reach the goal. Uh, the camera is not that great. The control is worse and it's just mindless you know your goal is to get to the end of the level and there's only six levels and so yeah there's some other things in this game and you can unlock some some things and characters but it is just absolutely boring i can't tell you how much i hate this game it is one of the worst sports games on the ps2 and if you're looking for terrible you won the jackpot by playing this this is a title that I overlooked several times, and I finally sat down and tried to play it. It was an early PlayStation 2 release, released in January of 2002, and that's Godai Elemental Force. On the back, it kind of looked like kind of a martial arts kind of brawler, and so I finally sat down to play it. Your hero, your young man seeking the truth of his past and the sacred magic of the elements. You know, kind of your generic story, whatever. And so, you know, as playing this, the first thing you notice is the frame rate. And it's very jerky. The camera's not great. And, you know, I can forgive kind of a janky camera or frame rate if it's fun to play. And so, what's that? 
Okay, so you have these like, you know, matrix style slow motion moves that you can do, but the actual combat is just repetitive and boring. You repeatedly hit the action button and you know, it's just uh, uh, the hit detection's off. Uh, this game is just unfinished. You could tell that this game was rushed to the market. It, it came out in January, so I wonder even if it was supposed to come out, you know, during the holiday season. But it's just an awful mess. This is just a, a very forgettable game in which uh, AI is broken. They just sit there, take the punches, and you, you, you repeat the action button and hit punch and kick over and over again until they are dead. And so there, you can get unlockables, you can get items and stuff, but it doesn't save this game. You know, underneath the broken camera, the frame rate, uh, there's other things that some may enjoy about this game, but for me, it's terrible. Avoid this game, one of the worst brawlers on the PS2 library. While there have been both good and bad Fallout games, this has to be the worst ever released in the Fallout franchise, and that's Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. This is the console release for both PlayStation 2 and Xbox, and this is when Interplay was really struggling, and I'm gonna show you why. Fallout games are known for their storyline, their customization, and this is just a blatant ripoff of a Baldur's Gate style game. Now, I love those types of games. I love Champions of Norad. I can think of other countless action RPGs that I enjoy. And I thought I would like this game. I was excited because it, it kind of looks like it has kind of the, even the same graphics engine of those other games. But when it comes down to it, the combat is broken. Uh, there is combat in this game, hand to hand and weapons, but your range combat doesn't work. So you're typically just running around trying to punch Enemy storyline is very generic. You have cliche NPCs. This is a terrible game, and in my opinion, the worst Fallout game ever made. Now, there was a Fallout Brotherhood of Steel tactics game different than this. So this is the console version, and most people who love Fallout games would agree, this is a mess. It is terrible. And I, and I just can't believe that they released it, and it's just an embarrassment to the franchise. Total disappointment. I've known about this game, and I saved it for last because this truly is one of the worst games for the PlayStation 2, and that's MTV's Celebrity Deathmatch, also known as just Celebrity Deathmatch. And this pits you against 15 of the most hated personalities to try to kill one another. I briefly remember watching the show in the late 90s and early aughts, and you can choose one of 15 celebrities, all with uh, various different moves. Uh, you know, this just doesn't capture the spirit of the show. It, it relies on ultra hardcore shock value. It is very mature as well. And so uh, the, it comes down, the, the, the gameplay is extremely broken. You can press a button over and over and over again to take out an enemy. You can get through the game rather easily. And I just found myself not enjoying it. Uh, the graphics, you know, aren't terrible, but the animation's rough. And more importantly, it just isn't fun to play. You know, a lot of these games on this list are just bad. Once you get past the shock value of kind of their uh, fatalities, uh, you're not going to want to go back and revisit and play this. You might have fun playing with a friend, but I think it's terrible. I think this is one of the worst fighting games on the PS2, and it makes this list for that reason. You may want to play it because of how bad it is. Otherwise, avoid it. It was hard to narrow it down to just five. What are your picks? Do you agree with my list? I'm sure you have others you would like to recommend, and please put them in the comments as I might come back to the PlayStation 2 and do another video picking some of the games that you put in the comments. So it helps me out. Thank you very much for your ongoing support. I'm having a lot of fun doing these videos, going through my library and picking some games I typically wouldn't play, going back and seeing if they are just as terrible as I remember them. So that's it. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click the bell as I'm uploading videos every week.
You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.